So I grabbed this tomato cage and I took some bare premium black matte spray paint and I took it outside and I spray painted just the vertical poles of the tomato cage. Once the spray paint was fully dry and I cut off the top portion of my tomato cage, I then came in with some very heavy jute twine. You just start at one spot on the circle and you just lay your jute twine over top and hold it there until the hot glue sets. Once the hot glue sets, you just take the jute twine and you wrap it all around the circle. And then I just finish it off by securing it with a bit of hot glue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other side of the tomato cage. This is my finished tomato cage plant stand. I actually made two to have an elevated look for my fall moms and my fall porch. So for the base of this project, I'm using an apple basket. And in the bottom of this, we're just gonna put some rocks. Now inside the basket, I'm just gonna take a flower pot. Now we're gonna place the tomato cage. I'm just gonna use a couple of zip ties to attach the handles of the apple basket to the side of the tomato cage. We're gonna pull the top up here together, so actually the bottom of the tomato cage, and use a little floral wire to twist around there and hold it together. Starting at the bottom, we're going to use just sections of inexpensive garland like this to wrap our topiary. Now we'll come back and kind of fluff all these pieces up to make it look like a nice full topiary. So we're just gonna take a set of white lights and string these around the tree. A roll of burlap makes a really nice ribbon to go around. We could add some different color ribbons or some beautiful flowers. A tree that can work all through fall. So now let's turn this into a tree that's gonna work for winter. So I'm going to start with some pieces of this wired silver ribbon. We're gonna take some floral picks and we're just gonna stick these in around the tree. You can also use some other greenery like this, kind of a frosted look, and some pine cones. I hope you are inspired to go create your own DIY topiary. First, grab a plastic pot and a tomato cage. Cut down the tomato cage to size. Next, weigh down the pot with a large rock, brick, or other filler. Then, attach the tomato cage. After that, grab a pipe cleaner and cut it in half. Pinch together the top of the tomato cage and twist around to create a point. Next, add some LED lights. You'll want to make sure they're LED to avoid a fire hazard. After that, grab some green deco mesh. Pinch it together and attach with pipe cleaners. After that, grab a red bow and thread pipe cleaners through it to tie to the top of the tree. Next, grab some ornament hooks and add them to the bulbs, twisting them into the deco mesh. These little trees are the perfect way to brighten up your front porch or a dark corner of your home that needs a little holiday cheer. After Christmas, remove the green deco mesh for a winter tree. Removing the deco mesh and bulbs is easy since the bulbs are twisted into the mesh. It comes off in one piece. All you have to do is twist off the pipe cleaners. Next, reattach the top of the cage using a white pipe cleaner. After that, twist on white deco mesh just like we did with the green. Add a white bow and some snowflakes for a winter tree that will last all season. I hope this inspires you to brighten up your home this winter with these cheerful topiaries. First thing I did was took a tomato cage. I cut up the top two rings. Take these three ends with a pipe cleaner and just secure them really well. And now I have my craft chicken wire, which I'm going to take and secure around the bottom here. I've taken some pipe cleaners and cut them into thirds. And I'm just going to start right here and attach them like so. So I've attached a chicken wire all the way around the bottom. And now I'm going to cut off the excess and attach it as we go up. We're gonna take this part and add it to the top, although we will just need a little bit of it. And we have a tree shape. And what we're gonna do now is just wrap these around and they have wire in them, so you can just use the wire that is in them to secure it and then just start wrapping our whole tree. When you get to the end, you're just gonna take that little wire in there, right in there, Pull it in and hook it. And now I'm going to dress it up with some uh, fancier evergreens. And I'm just going to add some of them throughout our tree. 
and I thought this would make a really nice base. There we go. I'm all ready for Christmas. So I have my tomato cage here. So I'm gonna take a piece of pipe cleaner here and I'm gonna take the three ends of my tomato cage and bringing them together, I'm gonna to attach them and hold them together using the pipe cleaner. So we're just gonna wrap that around there. And now we have our ends tied together. So my garland actually has a wire inside the garland so it's bendable and it keeps its shape. So I'm just gonna start at one of the vertical pieces of the tomato cage and I'm just going to wrap my garland around there. So I'm just tying it on really tight around this vertical piece here, okay? And then I'm going to begin intertwining the garland through the vertical pieces of the tomato cage. I'm just going to use a small piece of wire here and I'm going to attach the garland to the tomato cage so that it stays in place. So I'm gonna to continue to wrap my garland leaves around my tomato cage until I've used all of them. Now that we have all five garlands on, it's, now I also have some leaf picks here and what we can do with these is anywhere where there are large gaps or big holes where the garland is just missing, slide up in and fill in those gaps. So all we have to do is slide the stick in and then just take a little piece of wire and wire the stick up to the top of the tomato cage. I'm going to continue working my way around here pulling in these extra leaves. I'm just going to take the body of my gnome and I'm just going to set it off to the side and now we're going to make a hat. So what I need to do here is I need to cut a 20 inch by 20 inch square. So we're going to take the one corner of our fabric and we're going to fold it up. Now we are going to take our hot glue and we are only going to glue down one side of the fabric. Then we're gonna take our piece of fabric and we're gonna fold it back over. Make sure we push down really well. So I'm just gonna take my fabric scissors and starting about here, and I'm going to do a nice semi-circle cut. Now that our glue is all set, we're gonna turn our hat inside right. And then to get that nice tip point, I'm going to use just the end of a pencil here and I'm gonna stick it up and push all that fabric out. And then to pretty my hat up a bit, because I couldn't find a nice fall pattern fabric that I like, I just picked up this felt garland here, and I am just going to put that around my hat. I'm just gonna use some hot glue here. Then when I've worked my way to the back of the hat, I can just cut off the remaining garland. To make the nose for my gnome, I'm going to be using a pair of nylons, and I'm just gonna cut it right at the top of the leg. And then I'm going to take some cotton fuzz, and I'm going to stuff it into my nylon. And then I'm gonna take these two outside pieces here, the long pieces in the nylon, and I'm going to wrap them around the back of the fuzz, and then I'm just gonna tie them in a very tight knot. Then I'm gonna cut off this excess here, and then we have our adorable, plump little gnome nose. Placing the hat is super easy. You just have to slide it over the top of the tomato cage. So we're just gonna place it on here and then kind of fix it up so that it looks nice. And then we are going to apply our nose. So I just use a piece of floral wire and I stick it through the back side of the nose. And then I slide that wire into the tomato cage and wrap it around one of the horizontal pieces of the tomato cage and then I just tuck the wire in and behind. I have this nice stem here that I got and I'm just going to add this for a little bit of embellishment and I'm just gonna hot glue it and tuck it just inside the garland around the hat. And I seriously, you guys, I think the fall gnome might be my favorite. I love the pop of color with the leaves. It adds such a nice fall touch to my porch. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk and we'll see you next time.